Hello, Hello Nick. <laughs> nice to see you. Hi. Hi there. We're shaking hands. <laughs> Hello, camera. Hello, to see you. Would you like to show me your straw bale house? Oh, oh, great. great. <laughs> What is actually supporting sort of the the, the, the bales? The bales uh, there's two ways to do a straw bale house. You can build a carcass, like a frame, a wooden frame, and you infill with bales. Therefore, you're using their best qualities, like their, their, they, they keep the heat in. Uh, what I've done, what you can do is more simple, just put, lay the bales on top of each other. So nothing supporting, they're supporting themselves. Ooh. But don't forget, they're quite wide, so they're very strong. It's not going to be knocked, you can't knock it over. Wow. Here, as you can see here, that we've done, it's flat, but we've made a, a circle going right around the top and this is bolted together, it's called lap jointed and bolted. And this is, stops any movement outwards, so these beams may want to push outwards, but they can't. So they're all nailed to and resting on the, these, this ring of wood. And in between here and the roof, there's always a gap, so I've just push, um, shoved in lots of loose straw. Uh, and that's the way I did it. I don't know how other people do it. And, and there you can see the... But it's quite nice you can get this sort of curves with this straw, with this... Oh. Um, I quite enjoy that with the, with the chicken wire. So obviously that'll create a nice curve. Yeah, and here you see, here you really see the... Yeah, you see one, two, three, four, bales, five yeah. bales high. Five bales high. Wow. Yeah. Are you going to keep uh, the the walls with the straw okay, bale so, or no no I, I personally I love the straw it's like being in a nest and it's been a great year but uh, no next is we put uh, again the mud like mm -hmm. outside inside and then we have a lime or lime and something lime and sand and you can put straw or wool so it'll it'll be the same again as outside and then we'll have a nice smooth outer layer wow. which will be white I'll probably put a bit of red pigment in and make it slightly pink oh. uh, but no this could be a nice smooth finish bales are about three euros each uh, I think it took about 190 let's call it 200 bales so it was just under 300 euros for the bales Wow mm. three euros three each. euros a bale Wow that's good isn't it I think that's okay yeah, yeah. Uh, as I said you could build it very cheaply 300 you would need for the bales You'd need, I, the rubber covering was quite expensive. I paid 700 euros, so you don't need to. You could reclaim just about everything else. As I say, you could do it for under a thousand euros. You'd have wow. to buy the bales, and you'd have to buy a bit of wood for floor, etc. Yeah. Okay. So this roof, the spiral roof, it's called a self-reciprocating roof. Uh, so all these beams are eucalyptus I've chopped down myself from the local forest. Um, the beauty of the self-reciprocating roof is um, what happens when you make it, you support the first one. So let's say this is the first one, we support it with a, a stick, a pole. And then from this one which you support it, you lay, which way we've gone round, so then you lay that one on there, and that one, and that one. You lay them all on top of each other, okay? Then you take away the supporting stick and they fall into place. And it's very strong, it won't fall down, and it holds a lot of weight. And on top of there, I've got bales. So, wow. basically bales are good for insulation, so it's never going to get cold here. It stays a fairly steady warmth. Um, but there's no point having insulation around the edge if you don't have it on the roof. So I've put bales. Normally people put earth, earthen roofs. Okay. Ooh, wow. And this I got from the only place I can find isn't a high end. We drove all the way to high end. It's what you make... Um, they make mule baskets, burro, you know, mule baskets out of them, or umbrellas for beaches. And oh. I, I just bought lots of rolls of that. What can we say? This floor, which I like, which is nice and old, this was here originally for the yurt. I had a yurt here. It still has the yurt floor. And on the top here, if you have a look at this, is the crown, that's also from a yurt, funnily enough. 
Oh, wow. Uh, so that's just keeping the, the membrane, waterproof membrane up, otherwise it would collect water. Anyway, it was some of this is quite unplanned. I didn't know that was going to go down on the end. It's uh, fantastic, the roof, really. Thanks very much. It's got some rhythm to it. And also, I've never seen anyone do this. This is just the way I wanted to make the you know, patterns go and asparagus go the other way with smaller branches. Oh, I see. You see? The smaller ones up the there. The smaller ones go in the other way, so they're oh. just supporting the, whatever's on the roof. Wow. It's really beautiful. Thank you, dear. So the windows you, you, you bought and you put... I did. They reclaim, but it just... Oh, I couldn't resist arch windows. Yeah, you could do it. You could reclaim everything except the bales and some, some say, the plastic uh, waterproofing rubber you could reclaim everything you and i say to people you could build it for a thousand euros easily i spent a lot more i spent about four four or five mm -hmm. but i didn't need but there, therefore i got nice windows and um, things like wood for the floor and stuff wow. I wow it looks oh, amazing we have solar power so we have two panels on the roof, and I only use it for one, one or two lights, and the radio, and whatever else we need, phones. It's enough. At the bottom you can see the foundations of tyres, and stones, all reclaimed tyres. And why, why is tyres good to well, have as a Well, it's eco, because it's reclaimed, they want to get rid of them so it's free, and they're quite good for foundations, you fill them with rocks. And uh, I like them because I was building a round wall, so I quite like the fact that they were round. And I've, they've yet to be covered with more mud, but uh, it's good you can see how it is. So from there up it's bales, and you reinforce the bales with rods coming up. You can use bamboo or wood, so that the bales also sit on. And, and the outside is? Okay. So on the bales, basically, this is just the mud from the earth. Just for the moment, washing outside. A few flowers, a lovely view. I'm building at the moment. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm collecting nice stones from the riverbed. So as you've seen, there are some nice stones like this one and this one. Oh, I like picking them by hand and putting them in place. Nothing's been strimmed yet, but we like the wild, the wild grasses. Last Woo. week we finished this. This is the new phone. I don't know what there's <laughs> much to see really. The toilet. Why is it so high? High up? Well, you have to drop. It's quite normal to have it off a terrace and you drop down because you want a distance between. You can dig a hole, which I don't like, or you do a. Or you do one like this way. Basically, you wait for a year or two and you can. Shovel out the waste, and it'll be it'll be all melted into nice uh, manure, manure, wow. fertilizer. Yeah. Well, now that we're standing here, yeah. I'll ask you: uh, What would you say is the advantage of living in a in a straw bed? Oh. Wow. Okay, so many. I, I can't speak. For me, personally, for example, if you the uh, the choice is a house, right, which has well, it's which is square. I don't like squares much. I like round. I like. I don't like. Um, I don't like houses much. Really, I feel very enclosed. With the, the straw bale was the idea. of This straw bale is it's, it sits in the land, so you live in the land and you feel a bit very close to the land. Yeah. The advantage of straw bale is when it's cold, it'll be warm inside. So even if it's winter, even if it's cold, and you open the door, it'll be quite warm inside. You know, not really cold. Nearly every other house will be really cold, even if you put the heating on still be calm. So that's the main advantage, it's warm. And of course it's natural. There's no synthetics in there, there's no plastics or paints, which is nice. 
there's no neighbors. Um, I just like it. Can oh, anyone buy a uh, build a strawberry house or? Well, it? it's a it's a it's not a clear point. I mean, I've built it. People buy people tend to build them as temporary structures. Hence, you don't build foundations. You build on the ground or off the ground. And it can be classed as a as a temporary structure, so therefore you don't need permission. I don't have permission, um, but you can get permission, or you you can build it with a foundation and ask for permission as well. Yeah. And will it will it uh, stay for? I mean, will it oh, no, deteriorate they, they will after will last well? no a long long time. I mean, the houses and I've I've read a couple of books. Not that I use them <laughs> for this one, uh, but there are houses in American France that have lasted a hundred years. So there's no, it doesn't wait. Um, it doesn't deteriorate quickly yeah. and even uh, it's been noted in a say a forest fire yeah. if there's been some straw structure with covered in mud that doesn't burn up either so yeah. it, against the myth it doesn't actually burn easily it resists fire and no they last a long time no reason to last as long as a house yeah, yeah. what a straw bale house needs is a good roof and good they call it boots and hats so you need a good roof that that over you don't want to let the rain get to it because basically it um, a straw bale house will always be porous, the air comes in and out. So whatever you put in the straw, clay, mud, lime, it has, it has to be breathable. So therefore it isn't the best for being waterproof. So you have a nice wide eaves, beams going over it and don't let the rain get to it. And you keep it off the ground, it'll be fine. So are you so happy? Happy to live, in, to I live here? I can't. No, I spend a lot of time in London because I'm an artist and I, sell, I have to sell my work in London. But I don't think I could survive in London if I didn't come, if I didn't live here for most of half the year. I, would, mm. I wouldn't be here. This is, happiness is here. Sadly, I have to go and earn some money as well sometimes. But no, this is great. I'm very happy. I'm happy with the nature, basically. Great. Thanks a lot.